Now, following the steady rise in fuel prices, many people, including yourself, have considered other modes of transportation. Electric vehicles have emerged as a viable option, but their high costs may be a disincentive. However, a technology company called Solar Taxi is working. Nana Ojima has been looking into the prospects of the project and filed this report. Crude oil prices as at March 9, 2022, stood at $124 from $86 at the beginning of February, representing a 44% rise. Presently, at local pumps, a liter of petrol ranges between 7.70 and 8.29 cities, depending on the fuel station. The commodity has seen a 21% rise, pushing up transportation fares and prices of commodities on the market. No, why, why is that? Uh, I call five years. In your price? For over five years, Kwesi Osei has operated in the food delivery business, working with many restaurants in Kumase. Until recently, he could make his delivery for the day with 30 cities worth of fuel in his motorbike. But the amount spent on fuel has shot up by an additional 6 to 10 cities. They say the first one they need uh, 30 cities and they delivery from uh, a cities to. They do it in the middle of the city. One gallon, I just say do it in the middle of the city. I thought 10 cities come and send out their age. You know? Motorbikes are becoming a common mode of transportation and delivery of goods. Many resort to it as a cheaper transportation alternative. Solar Taxi has been converting these petrol-powered bikes into electric bikes. The chassis of a motorbike is remodeled to accommodate the battery packs and a motor is put in the back tire of the bike. Anod Anoche Amwaten is operations manager at Solar Taxi. The fuel bike usually have their engines and they have other components as well which will all be taken out. So basically we will, take, we will strip the fuel bike off most of the important components that makes it a fuel bike, leaving only the chassis or the frame. So what happens is we then bring in the other components that will make that bike an electric bike. So we add the motor, we add the battery packs that we build locally, uh, locally. then we add the controllers. So the controllers will control the speed at which the bike travels or the motor uh, travels. Then from there we add, we will attach a charging port it costs less than 10,000 cities to convert a petrol bike to an electric bike, but costs more to acquire an originally made electric motorbike with prices ranging between 12,000 and 18,000 cities. Uh, what happens is because those ones were already built for the fuel bikes, they are already heavy. Do you get it? They are, the chassis and all those things are already heavy. So we add in the battery pack. The battery pack is also already uh, it's also heavy. It weighs around 20 kg. So when we add the battery pack plus the motor, it gives it more uh, stability whenever you are riding. According to research by the Tech Hub, with seven cities worth of electricity, a bike can be powered to run for 150 km per hour. The same distance for petrol bikes will cost at least 35 cities. Solar Taxi is in the process of converting fuel vehicles to run on electricity. The necessary research has already been completed. Uh, that's why I said in the middle of the year, but later by, in fact, you give us up to the middle of the year, you should see something. You've done some work, sorry. Yeah, we've, done, we've done all the pre preliminary works, we've done all our calculations, we've done all our inquiries, we've done all our research. Uh, the, only, the only thing left now is to put things together. The success of this project will come as a relief to many, especially those seeking alternatives to the persistent rise in fuel prices. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima reporting.